Okay, so how, uh, so hi everyone, Gainer here from Propnex and welcome to my this training of about how you build your power base and some of the creative marketing strategies that I'm going to share with you guys, right? So if you can really see on the, I think the right on the left, so some of the training objectives that I'm going to share with you guys is about the first one. Uh, you probably will learn why agents fail to build their base of strong clients, right? And the second thing is, of course, you will learn some of the, uh, the three very important steps, uh, how you build your base, right? And also, what are some of the creative ways to get more leads, okay? So, <clears throat> uh, why this training, right? Um, I think, actually, I wanted to do this training for quite some time, but I actually did this for uh, my company, my own agents first, and I thought I want to put this on a Facebook Live Especially if you ask me now, I think the timing is really timely, right? Especially when we have this um, virus thing issue. And I think uh, to me, I personally, I feel that probably it will be a good thing for a lot of agents like us to stay strong together so that we can tight through this. And, and, and by doing this stuff, sharing, I think I also hope that we can connect with each other, be it just internal agents like like my own company, you know, or probably with also external agents. I think now is also one of the best time that we can, you know, stay connected together and we can grow together. And at the end of the day, what I think is important is we can grow our business together as well. So I think sharing should be something that we can uh, open it up and so that each and every one of us can learn from each other. I think that is important, right? That's why I wanted to do this training for any as in a facebook live and sharing the slides that i've done okay so at any point of time uh once again this is a facebook live with you guys um you you probably if you can probably just appreciate just give me more likes help me to share this uh if you have any inquiries throughout this uh, you can i think you can probably send to me uh type inside this live and i can probably just see what are the comments that uh, uh, you guys or uh, probably I'll be receiving and if I can I can probably just answer you guys okay thank you now uh, I just want to share with you guys at this point of time especially this during these difficult times I, I, I want to touch on this very important thing which is the workflow right the workflow uh, workflow is something I think is important now previously previously we have to understand that before this virus issue this COVID-19 what are the advantages of us doing real estate agents and, and, and you know, what are the advantages, right? Now, the very first thing is definitely we have the freedom to perform physical activities, right? And as in, we can meet clients, we can do our prospecting, we can do door knock, we can do road show, you know, stuff like that. We can just go out and have, um, and, and just focus in doing uh, our real estate career, right? As in, we can close transactions immediately right uh, for example you know uh, sometimes I, I meet my clients right and you know I meet today and probably the next day or this over this weekend straight away we can go to a show flat and you know we can take a look at show flat you know stuff like that we, we can do all these things but so these are the advantages uh, that we can do before this um, this 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 COVID-19 issue right so what are the disadvantages during then Right? We also have to understand the advantages and the disadvantages. So what are the disadvantages? Uh, the disadvantages is that during then, while we are doing a lot of uh, external activities, prospecting clients, meeting clients, close transactions, you know, stuff like that, we, we, I, I think what we really lack of is we lack a lot of preparation work, right? So during that time, uh, it's like we keep on chong, you know, chong, go ahead, you know, work close, work close, which is a good thing, definitely. But on the back end side, we probably tend to neglect on this preparation work. What do I mean by preparation work? Uh, preparation work means, you know, I've seen people do flyers before. And when they do flyers, I think they didn't really focus about how they can do a very good uh, flyers, you know, stuff like that. They didn't go through the thought process, you know, stuff like that. So they just print flyers for the sake of printing. And later, I'm going to share with you also one of my prospecting way, which I have done a flyer and I also got a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, response, right? Which I'm, I'm, I'm definitely ready to share with you guys, right? So the very first thing is the lack of preparation work, right? The, which is marketing, which I just touched on it. 
Now, we lack of time to evaluate ourselves, right? Uh, for example, did we do well? Uh, how's your sales? You know, stuff like that. So we lack on evaluating ourselves. So we, 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 during that time, we tend to compare. So if our peers are doing really very well, we, we probably, we, we congratulate them, of course, but deep down, we probably, you know, we, we lack of this thing. We didn't evaluate ourselves. So we didn't evaluate ourselves uh, sales in terms, we didn't look into how we can improve ourselves to be much better. Right? And, 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 and also, we didn't really think through about methods to improve our business. So if I can repeat, right, uh, previously during the, before this COVID-19, the disadvantages is we lack a lot of preparation work in terms of marketing, in terms of looking at how we should improve our business, you know, stuff like that. And we also really didn't think through, sit down and think through how we can improve our business. And, and I think now the whole thing is reversed. This cycle is reversed during this period of time. Uh, I think it's very important if we can look at the, um, this, this, the disadvantages to become our advantages, right? Which is now we have more time. We have more time to really think about our preparation work. We, we have more time to think about how we can, you know, do our marketing better. Because trust me, at the end of the day, once this COVID-19, this uh, uh, virus is lifted, or probably is, is, is the, the, the government relaxed more rules, right? meaning to say we are able to go out to do our real estate job. Trust me, I tell you, if you don't do this preparation work right now, you don't, even though when the rules are relaxed, you won't have the chance to straight away do your closing, right? You still spend time of doing your preparation work, which I think you really waste so much time. So the whole thing has been changed. So now we should look at what in the past are these advantages to be our advantages right now and do a lot of preparation work so that first thing first, after when this whole thing is lifted, right, we can straight away do our closing immediately, right? And, and we don't waste a lot of time, right? Thanks, John. I see your comment. Gainer looking good. Thank you so much. And if you guys, so far, if you, you find that my, you know, as I will progress along, if you think that my training is good, just give me a thumbs up or just give me comments, right? And probably now I think, uh, maybe I think you should focus more on the slides. You just give me a second, huh? Right? Okay, wait. Okay. Okay, probably I just put my face a little bit smaller. So that you can just look at the slides, right? Okay, I think that's much better, right? So you can really focus on the slides. Okay, so what is a power base, right? Actually, to simply put, a power base is a salesperson's client database, right? Why this is important? I think. Um, if today, you, regardless of whether you are a new agent or you are an experienced agent, I think having your own database is extremely important, right? Uh, just, just look at it in a very big uh, macros perspective. Uh, why Facebook bought um, Instagram? Something like that, right? Why? Because they want their database, right? They want to, to get... So you see, companies buy other companies for what? Database. Right, that is also one of the main objective why they buy com uh, buy other smaller companies, you know, stuff like that because they need database, right? And 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 if you are if you yourself as a salesperson, and you don't have your own database, right? Then I think um, it's something that you really need to have, right? So I think right now after this training, uh, it's really very important for you to focus on your own database. But then again, why agents, you know, why, why, why agents really fail, right? Why agents really fail in building their own database, right? The first thing, right, which I'm going to touch on it. Uh, first, why is database important is because you can record up your client's activity. You can do a lot of follow-up, especially right now. You can do a second sale. What's a second sale? Uh, you know, a lot of agents, I realize, they probably just do one sale and that's it, right? They forget about their previous clients. I think this is a really very wrong kind of habit, right? So you need, you can generate your second sale because if you continue to keep prospecting, you spend a lot of marketing efforts to prospect 
and you forget about this backlog whereby you know five years later your previous client who have bought a property or sold the property from you five years down the road they can be because you already know them right it's just that you lack the follow-up so you can have a second sale you can create a second sale you can create a second sale through by means of refinancing get this power base record about your bank loan you know data you know that kind of thing so you can have a refinance you know and and and, and you know stuff like that right so and create a referral business right but the thing is that why agents fail to do up their power base right uh last time when i first started my 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 career which is i think 10 years plus ago uh, I feel I, I also did this power base, but I really didn't, you know, continue to build up. And I think a lot of agents, you guys also have this problem, right? The first thing you do a power base that's too complicated, right? Too complicated even for yourself to follow up, right? Uh, I remember last time when I was doing a power base, I will, you know, categorize under red zone, yellow zone, green zone, you know, stuff like that. Red zone means people that I've been connecting and then they probably just lose interest in me, you know. Then I have to look at it every time, every time. So it's a little bit, you know, complicated. It's not systematic and you, and at the end of the day, you don't have a proper understanding of a time schedule so that you can follow up this, uh, your power base, right? So I think this is important. That's why, Agents fail to do up their power base. And honestly speaking, I tell you now is the best time to do a preparation work and your preparation work is to build up this power base. To spend some time to build this up, right? And later I'll show to you how you probably can be doing uh, or how you can be, you know, probably do this power base, right? And meanwhile, uh, probably I can just check with you guys if you guys can really hear me loud and clear and the sound is really... Uh, you can hear it uh, really good, you know, probably just give me a thumbs up or just give me some nice comments and and and, and I, I think I'll really appreciate it because I don't know if I continue to talk, then if you guys can't hear, then probably I waste a lot of the time in the starting, right? Okay, now this power base, right, building of power base is uh, actually, you know, divided into three, three very important tiers, right? Uh, I call it the casual, which is the first tier. First tier is definitely your casual, right? And second tier is your active tier, right? And later, the last tier will be your super fans, right? So once again, these are the three tiers. Casual, which is the first tier. Second tier, which is your mid tier, which is your active, right? And I'll explain to you uh, all these, what are the differences. And your super fans, right? Super friends, super fans are actually your top tier, right? These are your top tier. Okay, good. Ken, Chris, Brian, thanks for commenting. You can hear, good. Okay, so your casual tier. What is your casual tier, right? Casual tier is your very first tier, which is um, your first contact during your prospecting e activities. So probably as for now, right, you have already done uh, previously before this, this whole episode uh, happened, you probably have done a lot of prospecting, but but you probably didn't follow up. Those are your first tier contact. Those are your first contact, right? So what are first contact? What are the casual? Casual are people that, you know, you, you met, you have not done any business. They are not ready to do business with you yet, right? Uh, it's just that in Chinese, if I can say, 经过, 路过, 不要错过, you know, those are the people, right? 你不要错过. So these are the people that are your casual uh, tier which is your first tier, right? And, and the schedule for you to do is you have to keep track of them every day. These are your casual. These are very important because in a funnel, right? If you do a lot of social media marketing, you know, stuff like that, you must treat this power base as a funnel, right? Funnel is the top part is people that will flow inside. So these are very, very um, uh, 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 casual people will come inside your funnel. And these are the people that may or may not do business for you, but you have, you need to have this funnel, right? And that's why you need to keep track of them every day, right? And then we come to your active tier, right? Active tier are people who has already done business with you, purchased a property, they have a sale, uh, done a sale, you have done a rental. And these are the people that is, uh, you can slowly start to ask for reference, right? And, and please understand, it's never a one business deal. So ask referrals from them. <coughs> and, and, and one thing I think is very important. If you really see my these three tiers, casual, active, and super fans, 
what is your main job? Your main job is to always promote promote those people that comes from the casual to go to your active and from your active go to your super fans. That is your last goal. Your last goal is to bring them from your casual to the active and from the active to be your super fans. Later, I'll tell you what are super fans. You need to have super fans, right? So for active, it's never a one-time business. And what are the active people? I mean, what are the things that you probably should collect, right? Name, contact, email, and what are the transactions, you know, address, birthday, you know, stuff like that, stuff like that, right? So active are a little bit more complicated, right? But casual are the ones that is not so complicated because they are not ready to do business with you. So you keep just funnel, funnel in, you know, bring them inside, right? So after that, you'll bring to the active. Active, you need to have more more data of them, emails, right? Transactions, uh, you, you must know why the transactions done. The address, their birthday, you know, so that you can do a follow-up or meet up, right? And this group of people, you don't have to always keep track in your power base. Probably two weeks or probably up to two to one month, right? That's where you see, I want to put this schedule so that you will understand. Last time you have this power base, but it's all over. And you probably don't know, hey, wow, this person is at the top. After that, from the probably at the uh, 50 to 100, you forget already because you need to segregate them. So now you segregate those who have done transactions with you, right? And these people just two weeks, a month, you just do your, do your keep track, just check, check upon them, check whether, you know, it's time for you to renew their tenancy agreement, right? And, and, and I tell you why, uh, because trust me, if I tell you this thing, you probably will understand where I'm coming from. A lot of times, uh, whenever the owners ask you, hey, gainer, or, you know, hey, so-and-so, uh, is my unit ready for renewal, you know, rather than you are the one that should tell them, hey, uh, it's going to be going to, you know, is it, it's going to be renewed, you know, but it's the landlord that asks you instead. Why? Because you don't have this, this, this power base, right? So the last one, which is your super fans, right? Super fans are fans that, is under your own protection. These are the people, uh, wow, pasi, uh, you know, you really cannot let go of them. You know, I've, I, I've, some, I've definitely have my group of super fans. Why? Because, you know, these are loyal clients who will not choose any other agents. One, They will just stick with you. They can score you. They can don't like you. You know, I don't know don't like, but they can score you. I have a client, right? I tell you honestly, at times, you know, probably I didn't do my jo job well and they score me, right? <laughs> But you know for sure, he will still stick with you, right? You know, stuff like that. They will never look for other agents but just you, right? So, and they will continue to give you referrals and business. And these are your super fans. And super fans are people you must protect, right? So, so, so this is things that I realize a lot of people don't do it, right? And, you know, super fans, what you do, you should give them birthday cards, you know, you should probably just give them movie tickets. Best you can give them gold class movie tickets. They will love you deep, deep, I tell you the truth, right? And, and you know, probably you just text them once in a while. But these are the people you don't need to text very often. You don't need to text them every day. You don't need to text them two, three weeks. You text them probably a month, you know, because they are already your fans. You understand where I'm coming from? So you just have to understand that these are the group of people that you must just maybe a month plus check out their birthdays, you know, stuff like that. You know, give them some free, you know, movie tickets. Let them, you know, enjoy them and their family times. You know, stuff like that. They will appreciate and they will continue to give you reference. And these type of people probably just once a month, one to two months, just keep track. So that's why, why I'm doing this today because I just want you guys to have a very systematic way of understanding your power base and then know how you can segregate them and do this really very well so that this is a strong database even though you go to, you know, I'm not saying this, but I'm just saying that you go anywhere. One day you leave this industry. Of course, I hope that you won't. But if you just go to another industry, your power base follow you. You understand where I'm coming from? If you are doing another business, restaurant or whatsoever, at least you have this group of people that you can start to message them, you know, introduce them, you know, stuff like that. But of course, that's not the point, right? Because we are still focusing on real estate career, right? Trying our best to do well. But I just want to let you understand what do I mean by your database, your strong power base, right? <laughs> Jason, I'm your super fan. Where is my movie ticket? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'll give you your movie ticket. Well, this is Facebook Live. Then definitely I have to. When I say out, uh, I must give. <laughs> Actually, I want to give you something even more. <laughs> okay. So, now, 
So we have to focus on our casual first tier, right? And I think that uh, this is really very important. Your new, regardless of new and experienced agent, you must focus in this casual first tier, right? Because your first tier are the, the ones that need to come on top of your funnel, right? Not the meat or not your super fan. They have to continuously come, right? Super fans are fans that are ready with you. Meat here are people who have done transactions with you, right? And, and one thing I, I, I think I have to come back, uh, super fans are fans, uh, even though you don't need to promote them uh, from casual to active. You can promote them straight away from casual to super. Why? Because some, 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 some clients, whenever you meet them, you have done business with them, you have done their transactions, and I tell you the truth, sometimes you have this chemistry. You know that they are really you know, f clients that will stick with you. You don't have to put them under active. You can straight away promote them to super fans, if you understand what I mean. And, and in fact, there are some people, some fans that are in the active, and no matter what, they, they are not your super fans. I mean, if you understand where I'm coming from, right? So feeling, you know, feeling right some stuff like that so the thing is that <coughs> you must focus on your casual right your casual first tier okay so which i'm going to talk share with you three steps three very very important things about how you build your this power base right the very first thing you really need to, to know what you want to do a lot of agents i realize that they are not really very clear about what they want to do in their career and that's why they are always missing out on this part, right? Now, once you really know what you want to do, it's very, it's important to, to really know your time schedule, which is a power time schedule. You need, you need to know what you're doing every day, right? Especially for to now, uh, especially for now during this uh, very difficult times, because I'm very sure if you don't know what you want to do, your schedule every day will be blank, right? You probably won't know what you want to do and that is quite sad, you know. And then once you know what you want to do, your schedule must be packed. And then the next thing is about your creative marketing. You need to have some creative marketing to get it moving forward. If not, it's not easy for you to have this uh, funnel, right? So first thing, what you want to do, this is your business focus, like your, you know, your friends, lease, you know, you need to reconnect, especially now. Reconnect with all your clients, reconnect with all your friends, right? And, and, and give, you know, check with them, how are they doing? What are they doing now? Uh, does does this, uh, this, this current issue really affect them? You know, show some care, some concern, you know. Probably don't need to talk about properties because I think at this point of time, some clients don't really want to know about properties, but I think it's good to really reconnect with them, understand them, you know, how are they doing, you know, stuff like that. This is important, right? Or probably you want to focus in some HDB MOP period, right? Or you probably want to focus in some new projects, TOP, or you want to work into new launches, you want to be your core team, or you want to be in the tagger. So what you want to do is very important. And why I put the resources, time and money is because you need to know your time, your funds, right? Funds to do your business and the time allocated. Then with all this, because these are your resources, with your resources, we are, you are able to slowly build your business focus. I, I give you an example. If you don't have a lot of funds to do flyers, you don't have funds to do social media marketing, then your only few ways is to focus in the time on uh, cheaper ways of prospecting, like do door knocking, right? You do door knocking, or probably you want to do um, uh, uh, reconnecting with all your clients. So these are the ones that you can do, right? But if you have some funds, you want to do some um some 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 prospecting right then you can spend you can focus and then use that funds to do all these things right so it's important you need to be focused what you want to do right now after that will be your power time schedule right pack your whole calendar right pack your whole calendar with all productive the key thing is productive right if you don't have a productive schedule that's not easy for you because I've seen a lot of agents do many things, but they don't close deal. I've seen a lot of agents just doing things. You know, you, you ask them, what are they doing? They tell you, I'm very busy. I'm very busy. But at the end of the day, they, they don't close anything. Why? Because they don't have productive schedule and their productive schedule are not, you know, things that they can do to close deals, right? So productive is very important. So now it's important for you to insert productive time 
slots, you know, like for example, spend time on door knock, telemark, roadshow, network with other agents, network with your clients, you know, stuff like that. Like just give you an example, you know, this is my past uh, September schedule, which is last year. You can see from my calendar, you know, I packed a lot of, a lot of uh, schedule, right? You know, what to do, my family time, you know, stuff like that. So these are things that you should, you should do, right? Pack yourself with more um, productive things, especially now, pack it, you know, every day, today, what day you want to do. Or even you can learn, take a time, productive time, as in learn how to learn some courses, you know, online courses, uh, and then build up your social media, you know, build up your, your understanding of how you call, okay? Now, give me a second. Huh? Sorry, sorry. Someone is calling me. So, this is an example of your uh, power time schedule. Right? So some of the strat strategic creative marketing. Alright? Just give me a second. Huh? Okay. Sorry, sorry. I think someone called me. And I think someone actually do Zoom on my Facebook Live. Um, I think probably if you can... You probably don't have to do zooming. You can just go to the, my Facebook Live, and you can um, just see my training. You probably don't need to do the zoom, right? I know some of you guys probably zoom. I think now at this point of time, we are really very, um, how I say, very uh, sensitive now, especially for using zoom. I think probably if you guys can, uh, just if you do me a favor, because now I think I'm doing a Facebook Live. Uh, you can go back to my live training, right, as and when. So you don't have to do a Zoom. Just go back and see, right, because sometimes this can probably, I don't know how it can escalate, right, stuff like that. But nevertheless, um, I will continue with my training, okay? Thanks, because I think someone called me to inform me on this. Okay, so I just continue. <laughs> okay, so what are the strategic creative marketing, right? Uh, so some of the strategic creative marketing I want to share with you guys is um, door knocking. Now, of course, some of this stuff that I'm sharing with you, you, now you cannot do, right? Because of this current virus issue, now you can't do. Um, but I think... Um, like what I mentioned, you can do a lot of preparation work, right? So afterwards, you can probably, you know, take some of my ideas and take some of these ideas so that you can prepare what you want to do and then you can proceed, right? So the very first thing I want to share with you guys is about door knocking, right? Uh, door knocking. Just give me a second, huh? Now, I just give you a few methods. Of course, you have your own uh, ways of how you want to do your door knocking, but I want to share with you some of the creative ways of how I share with my clients, right? Now, the very first thing, of course, when you do door knocking, you want to do an ice breaking, right? Of course, when you are just in front of the, 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 the owner, right? You door knock, right? You want to do the very first thing is uh, some ice breaking thing, right? And after that, uh, you will do, uh, can I share with you something very important that many people may not know, right? Something that really concerns them. And then what you're going to do, you are going to do this thing. You want to share with them this sales proceeds chart, right? So why you want to show, show them this sales proceeds chart? Because you want to show them this CPF accrued interest, which I'm going to share with you um, later. Because by now, I think probably you will understand this CPF accrued interest and how it can affect them right and then how to prevent it 
right? So far, um, I, I'm not too sure. I see my screen is a little bit jammed, but if you guys can see me continue with this Facebook Live, can you just probably just give me some comments or some likes because somehow or rather, I see my iPad is a little bit jammed, you know. Uh, you guys can still hear me? If can, probably can you just give me some comments? Can't see. But can you hear me? Selena, you can't see as you can't see my this screen. Uh, but you can't see, is it? Yeah, I can see my screen jam. Uh, you give me a second. Can hear, but can't see. Okay, so sorry. You just give me a second, huh? Yeah, I can. Yes, thanks, Stephen. I can see that my screen is a little bit hang. Uh, just give me a second. This is the problem when we are doing Facebook Live. Okay. Screen. <laughs> okay, just give me a second because I think my internet got some issue, right? Yeah, my screen a little bit hang. Okay. It's a bit sad. I'm trying to see how I can improve it. Okay, but... Okay, why not like that? I can still continue first. I just see my screen is a little bit hang. Right? And I think I'll just continue first. Because I think somehow I just can't stop. But nevertheless... If let's say this Facebook live training, if probably if uh, the slides you can see, I'll upload these slides so that you guys can uh, can 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 uh, actually see the screen. Is it okay? Because now I think if I just stop by stopping, uh, then I think it's a little bit difficult for me to continue. Yep, power back schedule hang screen hang. Okay, can I understand? Okay, let me see how I can do it. How Probably I just stopped there for quite some time. Right? Okay. Never mind. Let me just continue first. If you guys sorry, just bear with me. Later I'll share with you guys all this uh this uh this this slides, right? So uh how to prevent it, right? You can actually do this um this this uh sales proceeds chart. Later I'll share with you guys this 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 slides and you can take a look, right? So this sales proceeds chart, right? If you guys will understand, you can actually show this to your clients and, and probably, you know, what is very important if you really see there's an arrow that I'm going to share with you. So sorry, I know you can't see now. Uh, it's really very sad. <laughs> okay. Still hang, huh? Still... Hey, okay, never mind. I'll just continue first. Really apologize. Yep, still hang. Okay, no worries. Right, so um, there'll be this uh, CPF accrued interest, right? So what is very important in this uh, door knocking is that when you show them this sales proceeds chart, I want you guys to show to them that there'll be a few arrows that I'm going to draw right uh, one will be the cpf accrued interest and it has to be the arrow must be pointing upwards and the cpf accrued interest of the wife the arrow must be pointing outwards why is what is really very important is the sales proceeds right uh, sales proceeds chart um okay sales proceeds chart so the sales proceeds chart you need to point it downwards right because you want to show to your clients that uh you know because you know, over the past next five to 10 years, you probably don't need to sell your property currently, right? But if you are going to sell your property five to 10 years down the road, right? 
I think what is important is that the sales proceeds will drop right? The sales proceeds will drop. And that is why you want to show this, this thing. And it really concerns them. Uh, because you see, you don't know, you share with them a lot of other staff may not be able to have a good conversation with them. But when you, when you show these things, this, 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 this sales proceeds chart to them, I think it's important because why it concerns them. So the thing is that your speech will be, you know, hey, Mr. Owner, uh, I do understand that probably you won't look into selling your place, but uh, one thing I really want to share with you, really very important, is because at the end of the day, one day if you decided to sell, uh, your, you need to know how much you'll be getting, right? So then after that, you share with them this sales proceeds charge and you must have this arrow pointing downwards to let them understand that the funds that they are getting will be going downwards, right? And then how to prevent this cash proceeds that is going downwards. That's where you will want to arrange and set up an appointment with them. Right, so like for example, I share with you this slide. I know that you guys can't see, right? I I, I understand why already because I didn't put um I, I know probably why I didn't put because when someone call me in, uh, I think it jammed somewhere. <laughs> That's the thing. So I think I didn't put uh, uh do not call, you know, right? So later I'll share to you this is one of the testimonial which one of my friends, uh, agent friend shared with me, right? And um, they actually have this, uh, he, he, he used this sales proceeds chart and out of 10 doors, they knocked two person actually talked to him or her, right? And that's why she wanted to send me this text to thank me for the sharing, right? So later I could, and I tell you what, later I will do a video recording so I can upload this video in one of my YouTube and then you can see as well, right? Everything will be clear. Okay, with all the slides, right? This is a Facebook Live, but you guys, you guys can still continue with all the comments and likes <laughs> if you can, right? Now, I also want to share with you this fridge magnet. Fridge magnet, uh, I think probably what I, I already attached this fridge magnet design is also in my Facebook page. You can take a look, but you can see, I think this is really very cool. Um, I real, why, why I want to do this fridge magnet? This fridge magnet is actually about important things to do. Right, it's a big A5 size fridge magnet, and I think a lot of agents like us, what we do normally, we send calendars, small calendars. Right, I'm not saying that calendars are not effective, but you know, you, I mean, you have seen quite a lot of your clients' um, fridge. You went to their houses. How many fridge magnets you actually can see? Right, there are two, three, four. Right, but they don't have this thing called the fridge magnet, as in important things to do so you want them to write to always see your this fridge magnet and they re can remember you right so this is one of the way i think is important this is how you be different from the rest of other agents right flyers is really very sad i you guys can't see this um but i really want to let you guys see or can I stop and continue my life? Is it a good? Uh, can I do that? If you guys would want me to do that, maybe if I can stop and continue again. Probably you can give me some comments because now it's all blank. Would you guys prefer that? Okay, Jason, please screen jam. Okay, I, I tell you guys, uh, let me stop this Facebook Live. I will continue and uh, it will be easier for you guys to see because what I want to show you guys, I think is more important. Then I can jump straight. Okay, with that, let me stop first. Then you guys, I will continue. Then you guys can, can come back in again. Okay, okay. thank you so much. Uh, come back, stay tuned. Eh? I'll stop this live first.